JetBlue may be best known for being a budget airline, but it actually has some seriously great things going for it. In fact, there are plenty of frequent flyers who swear by the airline, considering its low price and relatively good selection of routes. Ultimately, it probably doesn't offer quite the same level of benefits as some of the larger airlines, but it also comes at a lower price, which is a benefit in and of itself. If you're a traveller who is looking for an airline to commit to and you're curious about JetBlue, this video is for you. We'll go over everything you need to know about JetBlue and the True Blue Rewards program. Before we get stuck in, if this video is helpful to you, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps support my work and I would appreciate that support. Let's go over the basics of JetBlue's True Blue Rewards program. According to NerdWallet, each point on True Blue is worth around 1.5 cents when redeemed for flights, which is more or less the same as the other major airline rewards programs. It's a little more, however, than points on Alaska and United Airlines. Like Southwest Airlines, the other major budget airline in the US, JetBlue is not part of a major airline alliance, though JetBlue does work with some other partner airlines, which we'll get into later. JetBlue doesn't necessarily have hubs like the other major airlines do, but it does kind of have hubs. Its biggest airport is New York JFK. However, it also has a large presence in Boston, Fort Lauderdale, Orlando, Washington Dulles, and Long Beach. Despite the slightly weird major city presence, it still operates a great selection of routes throughout the country. There are a few major ways to earn True Blue points. The most obvious way, of course, is to fly on JetBlue flights, and you'll earn three points per dollar spent, except for Blue Basic flights, which only earn one point per dollar. You can also earn True Blue points on partner airlines, including the likes of Emirates, Hawaiian Airlines, Iceland Air, JSX, Silver Airways, Singapore Airlines, and South African Airways. On these partner airlines, you'll earn one or two points per mile you fly. There are other ways to earn True Blue points though. You can transfer points from other rewards programs, including City Thank You Points and Chase Ultimate Rewards Points. You can also earn points on partner rental cars from Avis or Budget and by booking hotels on JetBlue vacations. As with other airlines, JetBlue also offers some credit cards that accrue TrueBlue points. There are two cards, the JetBlue card, which has no annual fee and offers a 10,000 point bonus after you spend $1,000 in 90 days, and the JetBlue Plus card, which has a $99 annual fee and offers a 70,000 point bonus after spending $1,000 on the card in 90 days. You'll earn additional points on additional spending too, with bonuses for spending on JetBlue purchases. Points aren't the only thing you'll earn on JetBlue though. Points can go towards purchases on JetBlue flights, but to earn elite status on JetBlue, you'll have to earn tiles. Tiles are earned based on spend, and for every $100 you spend on JetBlue or a partner airline, you'll get one tile. JetBlue credit cards will get you a tile for every $1,000 you spend as well. As you earn tiles, you'll not only earn status, but also so-called perks you pick. These are perks like early boarding or bonus points and the first perk is earned after 10 tiles. Once you start earning tiles, you'll start ascending through the different tiers of Elite Membership. JetBlue's Elite tiers are called Mosaic, and there are four tiers of Mosaic, simply called Mosaic 1, 2, 3, and 4. Mosaic 1 is achieved after 50 tiles, which is equivalent to $5,000 spent. When you achieve Mosaic 1, you'll get a range of perks, including priority boarding, two free check bags, alcohol on flights, same day flight switches, and dedicated check-in lines. On top of that, you'll get access to even more space seats, which is equivalent to Economy Plus, when available at check-in. Most of the time, these seats will be taken up by those who booked the seats, or those with higher tiers of status. The second status tier in JetBlue's True Blue program is Mosaic 2, and it's achieved after 100 tiles, which is equivalent to $10,000 spent. Mosaic 2 offers mostly the same perks as Mosaic 1, including things like free check bags, alcohol on board, same day flight switches, and dedicated lines. Where it does differ is access to the even more space seating. Instead of gaining access to these seats at check-in, you'll be upgraded for free during booking, pending availability for the seats. The third status tier in the True Blue program is Mosaic 3, and it's achieved after earning 150 tiles, which is equivalent to spending $15,000 on JetBlue travel. Mosaic 3 offers the same benefits as Mosaic 1 and 2, including priority boarding, free bags, alcohol, same day flight switches, and so on. On top of that, you'll get free upgrades to even more space seats at booking where available, and you'll get four complimentary upgrades from core to a mint seat which is equivalent to a business class seat. The fourth and final tier on JetBlue Airlines is so-called Mosaic 4, and it's achieved after earning 250 tiles, or the equivalent of spending 25,000 on JetBlue flights. Like the other three tiers, you'll get things like free check bags, alcohol on flights, same day flight switches, and more. On top of that, Mosaic 4 gives you two additional upgrade certificates to mint seats, on top of the four that you will have already earned in Mosaic 3. Further, you'll get credits for four free seats on Blade Airport helicopter transfers between Manhattan and JFK or EWR, which means that you'll be able to beat the traffic and get to the airport in style. It's a unique perk that you won't get on any other airline, though of course, 
it's a little niche given the fact that it's New York specific. After earning all those tiles, you will likely have a ton of true blue points to spend, and there are a number of ways that you can spend them. The most obvious way to spend these points, of course, is on JetBlue Travel. This generally offers the best value for your points, however the amount of points it costs to buy a flight can vary quite a bit. You can also use True Blue points to book travel on Hawaiian Airlines. True Blue points can also be spent on things like JetBlue vacations, meaning that your complete travel experience can be booked using points. That's everything you need to know about JetBlue's True Blue Rewards program. Thanks again for watching this video, and again, if it was helpful to you, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.